Good morning, my family in Christ. Welcome to another morning devotion. Thank God for another day and an opportunity where we could come and worship, praise to Him, taking time to devote, time for prayer, time for sharing, indeed hearing from God who is faithful. And we trust that you had a great weekend and ready to conquer, overcome during this week. A new month, seventh month of this year. We are grateful to God that who began a good work in us is faithful to complete it. He's faithful to see it through to the end. And for this, we give God praise. Meditation comes today from Psalm 139, verse 7 to 12, and it reads, Where shall I go from your spirit, or where shall I flee from your presence? If I ascend to heaven, you are there. If I make my bed in Shiloh, you are there. If I take the wings of the morning and dwell in the uttermost parts of the sea, even there your hand shall lead me, and your right hand shall hold me. If I say, surely the darkness shall cover me, and the light above me be night, even the darkness is not dark to you, the night is bright as the day, for darkness is as light with you. The word of God to the people of God. And today, there is much celebration going on, and rightly so. Thank God for all of the accomplishments, all of his blessings, indeed, his favor. But as believers today, we are called not only today, but always to celebrate the omnipresence of God. God's omnipresence in our lives and indeed in this world. It means that God is present everywhere and all at the same time. That means as believers, Whatever we need, whenever we need it, wherever we need it, God is present. And that's what we celebrate today. The presence of God. It means where his presence is, there is his power. And where his power is, there is manifestation. And so we should seek to stay in his presence. We should seek to do what he desire us to do. Indeed, as believers, prayer should be our place. We should always want to pray. That's what God's presence says. He says man ought always to pray and not to think. We should always be in communication with God. We should always worship. He made us to worship. He says, God is a spirit. And they that worship him must worship him in spirit and in truth. So let's celebrate his presence and know that whatever we need, God is present. He's a present help in time of trouble. And we are in trouble in time. And God's presence is here through Holy Spirit to pour on us, to be in us, to lead and to guide us. This day, let's celebrate His presence. This month, let's celebrate His presence. Indeed, it is a month of God's triumph. Let's celebrate because we can't go nowhere where His presence is. Wherever we go, God's presence is there because his word spoke it into being. And so his word is present everywhere. As believers, 
Let's celebrate his presence today. Father, we thank you that you are omnipresent. You are everywhere, all at the same time, waiting to help us. You've already helped us heal, deliver. That's what you do, set free, bring salvation, good news, and cause us to see, cause us to feel and to be. Because of your presence, we are where we are. We are who we are. You breathed in us and we became. And your presence made us and not we ourselves. Help us to celebrate your presence today, to show forth your presence. It is you who have called us out of darkness into this marvelous light to show forth your glory even now. And so I thank you that we will cheer up in the midst of difficulties, in the midst of darkness. For where you are, there's no darkness. It cannot comprehend you. It must go. And so we thank you that even in our struggles, you are there to help us. We cry out to you, God. You are a rock. You are salvation. You are everything that we need. And we praise you that in your presence, there is fullness of joy, and at your right hand there are pleasures forevermore. Thank you, Lord, for your presence in our lives. Thank you, Lord, for your presence, even now. And we wait. We wait in your presence for those who lead the nation this morning. We give you thanks for our Prime Minister and all of Parliament, and we say, have your way even now, Lord. We thank you for those who lead in the body of Christ. May we allow your presence to lead and guide us even now. Thank you for the peace of Jerusalem and for families everywhere. Be with us, O oh God. Be with us in our families, in our times of prayer. May we pray. In our times of reading your word, may we read. In our times of trouble, may we call on you. For you and I unto them. Hallelujah. Oh God, who call on you, you and I unto them, who are broken heart, contrite spirit, may we hear you today and celebrate your presence to heal us, to bring relief and release, to help us in our time of need. We give you thanks in the name of the Father and of the Son and of Holy Spirit, we give praise. Amen. 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 God bless you, believers. Let's celebrate His presence. It's more than enough. It's greater than everything else that we celebrate. We need His presence. Outside of His presence is chaos, a sinking sand. But on Christ, we stand today in His presence. Have a great day in the Lord. Amen. <laughs>